Welcome to the house that Rockney built. Leahy turned into legacy, Parsegan renovated, and Holtz restored. Notre Dame Stadium, the home of the Fighting Irish. Today, a rank versus rank matchup as a couple of top 25 teams get set to go jaw to jaw. As we'll see, the number 13 team in the country, the LSU Tigers, taking on the eighth ranked team in the land, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Looking for a strong kick to get this one underway. Fielded in the end zone. It's Jackson. Stopped at the 17, and he's... Guessing that return. First down for this offense. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Catch in the middle. It's Lacey. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Just about any LSU offense will make you hold your breath when they play pitch and catch. Yeah, just such elite playmakers usually. Just such speed. And listen, when you're a defense, speed kills. At LSU, no matter who plays quarterback, they always got dudes that can fly out wide that absolutely scare you. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. They'll give it to the back. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. LSU quick to the line. A jet sweep pass. Got a lot of running room. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. This offense has a lot of different ways they can attack you, and you're going to see the entire playbook at work in this game. Throwing it, running it, and getting guys the ball out on the perimeter. Great job. The Tigers will have it first and ten. Motion from the offense. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. Touch pass on the run. And into the end zone. Touchdown, L. And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. I don't know how many people expected this to happen. Playing on the road in this environment against a better opponent, but they showed tremendous points on the opening drive. Nice execution. They score the touchdown. That was big time. And the PAT makes it 7 nothing. They go 83 yards on the drive, and they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. And he'll just take me in this drive. We'll start at the 25. Quarterback stands alone, all wide receivers.
Looking downfield, it's Leonard. Quarterback moving. And he just chucks it into the fourth row. And that goes down as incompletion, but that's a smart play. And the QB coach and the OC would be very happy with the decision of the quarterback. He got outside the pocket. He obviously was so he's outside the tackle box. He's moved the ball away as long as he got past the line of scrimmage. Nothing there, nothing open. Live to fight another day. Big time throw in that last play. You know, you think about great Notre Dame quarterbacks. I think back to a couple of Joes. Joe Montana, Joe Theismann. They Trying to burn this defensive back. And that ball is hauled in inside the 35. He picked up a big chunk of yardage there, and there will be Irish jigs going in the stands. Yeah, and a lot of excitement. If, if they can find these down the field explosive plays and find a wide receiver out there they can depend on, this offense can really explode and take off to a new level. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle. Touchdown, Irish! What a grab and go for the score. How about the renaissance of the tight ends? In line, flexed out, split out. They can do a little bit of everything. They really can, and they're asked to block a lot of the times, too. But I'll tell you what, all the wide receivers out wide, the fancy toys, the fancy spread, don't forget about that tight end. He does a little bit of everything. And then you reward the big fella, throw him the ball, and he catches. So he really can do a little bit of everything in an offense. And he splits the uprights on the extra point. After that, latest answer tied things up. Just about set to kick it away again. Fielded in the end zone, it's Jackson. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. First down here for the offense. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He breaks the tackle. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. Start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. Scanning the field, it's Collins. Pop. He unleashes a long one. He's got it on the left. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Well, LSU receivers are known for their swagger, and that is swagger well earned after that one. Uh, you go outside and you make plays like listen you have swag you have confidence and you usually get a little bit loud recently like, listen feed me the rock so many great LSU receivers in the past and it's because of that swag they're threatening to score and they'll throw it quarterback feeling the pressure and down he goes at the 22 if it works, they tried to follow up the big run with a pass and didn't work out for them. Now, how about a good job by the defense? You know, sometimes when you when you give up runs, you get more aggressive. You want to bring more guys to the line of scrimmage and you want to overreact. The defense stayed calm, stayed true, came up with a big sack the next play. We'll take a quick break as we have reached the final two minutes of the first half. They line up and it is a long to the sticks from here. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Now on fourth down and five, they'll try to move the chains. Fast motion from the offense. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. They're moving quickly after that big fourth down conversion. Clock will roll when the ball is set. They'll use the running game on first and goal. 
And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. You gotta have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. Then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. But great job in the base defense making a play. Quick pass on the jet motion. Stumbled to the ground. The first thing you have to do to make these plays successful offensively is I have to block the edge. I, I got to get my speedster in space. They didn't do a good job of getting that guy out there in space where he could really use his jets. Nice job by the defense understanding it, seeing it, rallying to it, and tackling that guy for the loss. They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. From the left hash, this one shouldn't be too much trouble. Absolutely perfect. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be conserved. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum. Pulls it in on the right. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed in the middle. It's Evans. Touchdown, Notre Dame! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Man, I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And tell you what, you get that passing game up, you can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. Coming out with it, it's Thomas. Stopped at the 29, but found a little running room after coming out of the end zone. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You gotta get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So, let's see if they can be a little bit more physical in this game. And here comes the offense on second down. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Hit the gas, kid. Wide open ahead. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. The Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. Quick pass on the fly motion. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Just enough time for one final play of the half. Looking for a man. It's Collins. He's looking deep. The pass falls incomplete, and that's how we'll finish this half. LSU will put foot to leather to start the second half. And 
and it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Here come the Irish back on offense. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this first drive, you want to keep open runway ahead. At the 30. The 10. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. And they take it in for six more points. Man, this guy is such a weapon because he's so dangerous. If he gets into the second level, great vision. And then David shows you the speed. Just straight wheels, erasing angles. A lot of times when you're chasing guys that are so fast like this, you're like, I got him, I got him. No, I do not. What a big, long touchdown run. Had those stats, young fellow. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. That kind of drive will boost your confidence. One play, hit the big pass, put a touchdown on the board. Just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's Jackson. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Quarterback checking the play. Comes out throwing on first down. That pass is incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. To the air, it's Collins. Fires it beautifully in on the crosser. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Wants to throw on third. Moving away from pressure. Trying to make magic on the scramble. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. When QBs are able to do this and just pull it down after he's sat back there in the pocket a little bit and go make plays, so frustrating for a defense. If I blitz and play man-to-man, -man, nobody's looking at the QB. He can make a big play. If I sit back, he can still scramble, run up, and get a big play. So hard to defend this guy. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. LSU moving the ball quickly down the field. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. The ball scores free. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. I'll tell you, honestly, I don't know what that player could have done to hold on to that football. That defender absolutely popped him. He knocked him into next week. There was no chance he was holding on to that ball. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping him up, getting him on the ground, take away that run game, make him one-dimensional, put him in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Give to the back. And he'll pick up the first down, but he got drilled on that tackle. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Used to play fake, now to throw. Gonna take a shot. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. Notre Dame lines up quickly. He had him open there, and I know this quarterback expects to make that throw. It's a tough throw because, again, you got a couple steps on the guy. That's not wide open. These DBs are so fast, but that is a throw that you do expect a guy like that, that caliber, to be able to play a little catch and catch and make that happen. Notre Dame has it now, first and goal. They'll try to get it in with a run. And he'll be stuck, got nothing. Line of scrimmage still at the four. They'll give it another shot on second and goal from the four. Dropping back, it's Leonard. Buying some time. Going for six. And this one's going to be incomplete. He was trying to make the connection in the back corner of the end zone. 
You simply don't see that very often. A quarterback of this guy's caliber missing a guy wide open in the end zone. He makes those throws in his sleep. They're going to throw it on third and goal. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Irish! This is like a baseball pitcher that can't miss. He is just pounding, pounding, pounding the strike zone. Yeah, it just gets in the zone, right? When you can't miss, you, you, you've seen quarterbacks get like that. No matter what they do, they're on fire. They're hitting the receivers. And listen, that's also on the defense. The defense has to do a better job making him feel uncomfortable. Changing what they're doing in coverage so he's a little bit confused. You can't just let him pick you apart. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. It bounds through the back of the end zone. It'll be a touchback. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. That last fumble proved to be costly as they cashed it in for a touchdown. Yeah, and so this defense now is juiced. They're excited and ready to go. So this offense... He's going for it all. And that'll be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter on first down, but second down's coming up. Priority number one, protecting your quarterback. You're down in the ball game. You've got to make sure you don't get those hits on him. Protect him a little bit more. We can get some big plays down the field. Right back up top on second and ten. Ball in the air. Intercepted. Touchdown, Notre Dame. The defense put. 